Love that. So busy. What's up, man? <laughs> busy. What up? What up? Busy's been hanging tight. Like, yo, what's going on, man? <laughs> my mic work now. <laughs> Does my mic work? <laughs> yeah, we had a uh, Sammy. We had busy Shut here. Your I want to talk to people inside. too. You want to? Yeah. You could have. You could have said something. I know. I know. I know. You I was letting him rock. I was letting him talk about his book. And, and we got another special guest with us on the other side of the camera. I told you I will flip it up. Louis Moreno is here. What What's up, up Louis? What's going on? He's not oh, new to the game. To be here. He's Ooh, not man. new to the game at all. Talk about Christian creative. I'm reading about you. Let me go down a little bit. Oh. Let me go down. Let me experience in everything arts. I was thinking <laughs> media yeah. production. This is dope, man. This <laughs> yeah, is got a nice from directing, profile. concept creation, production, writer editor digital of digital media like you do a lot you're a man of many trades when it comes to entertainment and production man i appreciate the acknowledgments man. ah man i'm reading this thing here's busy right busy's over here like yo i got someone my boys are coming all right cool like i'm just thinking like all right another dude chilling he sent me the info i'm reading i'm like oh my this ain't just like my boy is coming like this dude is like man this is amazing dude that's awesome for real some of your stuff on nbc Univision, Telemundo, like that's yeah. crazy. Are you still currently doing work for them right now? Uh, I've been working with, uh, collaborating with some people that are working with PBS down in Springfield. They launched a show called Presencia. I was a big part of the inception of that show, kind of off the books, under yeah. the table. Um, but yeah, it's a Ooh. show. No. <laughs> no, I'm, Ooh. Kidding. I'm telling. No. <laughs> go ahead, brother, go ahead. Just low-key kind of advising them and helping them which is unusual because these people are employed by pbs and you would think you know they don't need this kind of help but they brought me on board for the first season once they got the the thing unlocked then then, then they, you they kinda, went on their own ah uh, okay but as far as uh working with with you know networks and things like that uh, it's kind of been low-key because I'm, I'm doing this for a living now on my own and so wow you know focusing on the family so uh, not focus on the family, focusing on my family. Mm. <laughs> yeah, right, right. It's two different organizations. Uh. <laughs> got it, got it. But, but yeah, so I, I've been staying busy. I I, I try to stay um, excited about the things that happen. I know I, my hand's been involved with a lot of people who've been able to mature and do great things, and, and, and I'm happy to have been a part of those artists and, and helping them along the way. I really feel like that's part of the calling is is to assist those who who are in need to be a to be a vessel for other people Amen. who need it when they're serving yeah kind of on that uh, on that wavelength and then if they mature to another <laughs> level and they move on to other things because i was able to collaborate with them then fantastic you know um yeah so that's that's, that's cool man that's how, how did you get started yeah. in the, right. the um, film uh to be honest with you man when i when i was in high school now this is this is a few years ago when I was in high school, I, I had this, I used to design flyers of yeah. events that didn't exist. These were events that, that had never happened. I would, I would create a flyer with my favorite rappers and I would put All y'all created just do weird <laughs> stuff, man. And I would go yeah. around passing out these I mean, flyers. I was a creative, wow. but <laughs> wow. Mario used to make mixtapes re by recording over tapes uh -huh. and then flip yeah, the, the tapes, tapes. and, and like yeah. re-record them again so he could do his dubs yeah. and all that. Like weird, and then yeah. he would like say, "I got an album," and when you play it yeah. back, it's just like. <laughs> so I used to do. I I dabbled in music for a while too, and I used to record on a. It was a CD recorder that allowed me to record over and over on the same CD before wow. I was burning the CD. Wow. So I it was like a four track kind of situation where I was able to record different layers onto a CD, and then what. This is before Pro Tools and before yeah. Fruity Loops and all wow. that. Wow. So really dating myself right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. You're experienced, but, bro. But going sick. back to the creepy story. Go ahead. I, going I used back to, to the creepy story now. <laughs> I used to design flyers for shows that, that didn't exist. Wow. And I used to pass out these flyers. You know how many people probably to showed up to these events and was just like, I yeah. have hey. this flyer <laughs> yeah. and I came for this show and I'm going to write a formal complaint. <laughs> I wouldn't put an address though. I just made this fire. Yo, come check this out, and people would even worse. Like, Yo, Brand Nubian is gonna be there. Oh wow! <laughs> nice. Dang, so now these people are just had, yelling you, out their did you windows. Have your contact information there. Is I that... wouldn't even do that. It was just a nice flyer, really? photocopied on a thing with layers on it. Wow! And, and it was just, uh, and I would, and I would, I wasn't even writing rap music then. I was just a fan of rap music. But these flyers was kind of like the first thing. And then it led to a passion in photography. 
And then after a few years of doing photography, I got into video and video editing, video shooting. But I was always writing. I used to be an actor. I pursued acting for a wow. lot of years. And um, and then cool. the thing I, about I, acting is when you're not getting gigs, it helps you. You, you still use it in life. <laughs> You yeah, know, you use it for job interviews. Right, you know, right. It's a yeah. relationships with, with the ladies if you're <laughs> trying to get to know somebody. Yeah. So you're always oh, acting. Right. You're an actor, you got you know? skill sets. I'm going to have to you try to bring sets, that to man. my wife. So Excuse like, me. oh, what, what are we arguing about? Oh, what are we having for dinner? All right, I'm going to be Fausto from the no telenovela on this one. I, I'm going to take this one out. I do not want Chinese food, Maria. I don't want it. Make it the Al Capurias. <laughs> make it the Al Capurias. Make it the Al Capurias. That's cool. Man. So yeah, man. It's just So you went to from that to photography and then when did you start writing? So you you went to acting. I was and you started it. directing. So you changed roles somehow. I what? wanted to I wanted to produce things that I could be in. So I was forced <laughs> to write my Jump. own material. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, is and I that what y'all producers do? Yes. Yes. Like, I'm gonna write yes. things that I'm gonna be the That's star. A fact. So there's a lot of things. That's a fact. There's there's <laughs> there's a lot of monologues and and things that I've written like years ago that I've been able to use for ministry. Like we've done plays at the church that were loosely based on things I wrote, you know, 15 wow. years ago. Yeah. Um, so everything goes in the archives. You just never know when you're gonna pull it out and kind of use it. But um, yeah, it was just an evolution. The photography thing started just more as a passion thing on the side for fun. And then, you know, I, I started monetizing it and then yep. started doing that as a business. And then I got hired by this church here in Springfield. That's what brought me, you know, fast forward a few yep. years. But that's what brought me from Miami to Springfield was I was hired as the media director for that church. And, wow. Um, and so it was it was everything. It was trying to run. That's a that blessing. Whole, so. Did you knew that was coming? Did you did you know that opportunity? I've been praying about that for a while. You were praying yeah. for that yeah. opportunity. Absolutely, I wanted to. I wanted to be ministry full time. You know, and I, wow, and I, it had to be in the arts. Yeah, I, I'm really not That's, as passionate about yep. anything else as I yeah. am. About you wanted that, to be so. faithful to your passions and Absolutely. what you felt you were I, good at. I mean, yeah. I made. Amen. I sat and negotiated under a tree with the Lord when I first got saved for about six hours. <laughs> me and him just politics. You know, yeah. I said, I'm going to do this. But all of it, the foundation of all of that was, Lord, I will serve you. You make me as creative as you can. And I promise you, I will not deviate. I will not walk away. And and he's been keeping it real with me since Amen. 2004. So wow. that's, here we are, you know. Amen. That's You're an inspiration, awesome, bro. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. And Amen. it's Amen. crazy that you say that you prayed for it and it came to fruition. Because that's something that. It has yeah. been a reoccurring theme. Yeah. Uh, me and Mario, uh, which is to pray more. Yeah. You know, to have a healthy prayer life. That's right. You know what I mean? Just being bathing your your aspirations, mm -hmm. your goals, your dreams, and you know, uh, uh, promotions, whatever it is, to bathe it in prayer. Yep. You know, sometimes we get kind of lost in the everyday life. You know, whether you're a parent mm -hmm. or not. You know, just all the struggles that life brings, you kind of sometimes forget where you are mm. and where you came from and the God that we serve. Yep. And you kind of just figure it out on your own, realizing mm. that there's that Staples easy button <laughs> and it's just asking God for help. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and God kind of navigates and then you get mm. to the end and you're like, wow, that was way easier than mm -hmm. I thought. The formula was simple, man. It's just honor God and everything that was being asked of me when I was at the volunteer level in South Florida and I knew that everything else would follow. So moving to this region, you know, I got my, I got my wife, got my babies. We, we bought a home, you know, it's just everything fell into place the way it needed to, because we were just bathing that in prayer and wow. just being obedient and just kind of going on that path. You know? Amen. Yeah, man. Amen. Then he Those met me, which right is there. like the oh. best part. Those are definitely gems right there, man. <laughs> That's fire, bro. Yeah. Pray without ceasing. How, how you say it? Ceasing? Ceas uh, pray, ceasing? No, Mario. Ceasing. Ceasing. That scripture ceasing. has nothing to do pray without with ceasing. Yo, com comment how you pronounce. Yo, I used to know this girl. I right. used to pray. She was Dominican. She would pray and she would say, God, you are a God of our seasonings. 
You are a god of He is. And you know what it is? You know what it is? Is that this Spanish people, even in their prayers, scriptures, it's all about the seasoning. That's right. Okay? If your wings don't taste, if my fingers don't turn orange after I had the chicken, then that's not enough seasoning. Some of them even bring it to church. For real. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even in the prayer, you got to pray with. Even, he's like, yeah. even God knows you don't you pr- pray. even pray without seasoning. <laughs> You're the adobo. That's the how earth. serious it is. <laughs> even our prayers are bathed with seasoning. Yeah, adobo. Right. It should have been adobo of the earth. Man. It should have been adobo. <laughs> You're the adobo of the earth. That's good. Get out there. You should be so, the um, adobo <laughs> of the earth. Did I just hear I'm that? I'm sure there's a translation out there that's got that in there. Dang. Yeah. So. What are some of the goals now moving forward? Are you kind of like just settling in and to be honest with you, uh, I'm just enjoying being able to produce for small businesses, uh, music videos nice. for my boys. Yeah. Um, By the way, oh, he's executive producer <laughs> yeah. of my new video. Not, That's going to okay. be coming out. I don't shot. believe it. I, it wasn't written in this, that uh, document of his resume. It, it was, so therefore, it was wow. not true. <laughs> yeah, your seasoning is off. <laughs> your seasoning. You gotta step his adobo game up. He got some adobo. cooming right now. He just uses salt. I'm in cooming so right now. Salt. Yo, he's that, like, that's I, I got cooming right, right now. There's no nah, flavor man, in that. Now the idea is continue to bless others. Busy's never paid for a video in his life. No. When it, when it, the stuff, the stuff he so works with me. So I'm not busy, a busy, movies busy, before. Busy, I don't know. That, so, that, that sounded busy. like a uh, that sounded busy. like a hidden complaint. That was like a, he's never he's paid. He's never paid for a video in his entire ride. life. He has never paid. At for least a not face. the videos that he's done with me. Yo, can we? Let me make man, that perfectly this, clear. This is I would have texted that. That Louis, this is live. We can't edit that out. There ain't no editing. None of that. Nah, man. Nah, but I know where he's. So the idea, yeah, is. You know, you bless those who who will appreciate it and who will That's benefit fire. from that, and yeah. then working. Uh, so it's still being monetized. Yeah, uh, but I, I, I'm just <laughs> my gigs. I'm happy with the gigs here and there, and, and yeah. I just I actually right now I'm in a season of just trying to do it for passion again, for, mm. for the kingdom again. Yeah, because uh, you know when you monetize things, then it gets tiresome, and and you want to kind of take it easy sometimes. So. Now I just want to kind of bring it full circle again and and, and make it a ministry. It's crazy, thing, you know. Yeah, no, yeah, that's hits it's, home. It's I, very. I feel, I feel like this. You're here for a reason. Amen. Yeah, we gotta amen. Talk. amen. We gotta amen. talk, bro. We got, we got some yep. things. <laughs> yep. You yep. think I just? You think? It, no, I, I got people. you. Man. <laughs> I bring people. Yo, hand class for busy. Yo, yo, hand class for biz. Yo. My, my people, I'm little busy. Love you, brother. Um, it's about unity, man. Unifying, coming together I, with like you. You wrote that song, man. but I see it's like a way of life for you. Man. You bringing people repping my block. <laughs> <laughs> like you repping, bro. Nah, like man, I yeah, see you. Like, you live it. I, I, it's dope. How many people live what they say? Yeah. You even wrote a song about it. <laughs> so I'm, totally I'm repping hard for my block. <laughs> and my oh, Jesus too. <laughs> and my Louis. Yeah, and, my <laughs> you know? and my Louis too, and my and my Louis too, and my Gio. <laughs> it's not uh, like a clothing line. My Louis too, my Louis. I got my Louis too. You know what I'm saying? My Louis too. So that's what's up, brother man. Yo, it's yes, a, that's the title. <laughs> that's the title. Louis too. <laughs> my Louis too. Um, yo, that's a it's a blessing and an honor to have you here, man. Thank you, man. Um, I appreciate it. I definitely. Being. I'm excited about building with you afterwards and uh, mm-hmm. kind of showing you some things. I'm, I'm not sure how much busy showed you already but um there's a few things that i'm working on and a few things that i'm trying to get together to work on in the near future yeah so i'll update you on that but it's an honor to have you here brother i'm really excited because in this region everybody's so kind of spread out doing their thing to find people who are passionate about like-minded things is rare yeah. Sadly, it's rare. Very so true. Glad that I still have some people to introduce you to. So. Yeah, let's do it. No, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We I'm, a, talk. I'm very excited about it because I have some very passionate faith-based creative, creatives that I know mm-hmm. that are like on standby, itching to get to work. Yeah. Uh, when we were doing the Spiritually Dead, I don't know if you saw the video yet, the Spiritually Dead. Okay, awesome. Uh, when we were doing that, like part one, part two, like the crew mm-hmm. just develop this awesome bond because everybody was just an expert in what they were doing whether it yes. was the gaffer the 
you know, the rigor, the, you know, the director. I learned about like, the names I didn't even know exist. I yeah. didn't even know there was a dude that was called a rigor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You say we're, we're bringing a rigor. Yeah, like careful. That sounds dirty. <laughs> I'm like, be are we careful taking, how are, you say that. That yeah, sounded, we, real, so we that had sounded that. really bad. That was that uh, for landscape. That's dangerous. Nah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Exactly. I was. I was like, that. Just be careful. And they explained to me what they do, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's no, because dope. you heard it, and it was your first time hearing it. You're like, what? What did he do? For, did you just want to call me? Man, what? <laughs> what, you sure, we need it. What? Um, no, but it was it was cool with the crew. There was a lot of headaches. There was a lot of pains. There was a lot yeah. of times where we were like, we're not going to finish this. Right. There was times where we felt like giving up. It was more headaches you know out was, of it than What than I thought anything. was crazy, Mario, and I don't know if you noticed it too, but you, when you see film, right, you don't really notice like the, the work, the work that like goes, the hard you just work see the scenes to capture like, those poop, moments, poop, poop, yeah. going back and yeah. forth, all pretty, and they don't know that they every no single idea. time they had to take the crew, film, 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 yep. film, just to change flip a scene, on all that equipment, all the yep. people, all the camera, Reset. flip it on the other side, yep. Yep. and film, 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 yep. put all that together. It's like hours and hours and hours of footage Facts. that you got to piece together because those are all cut scenes, mm -hmm. and you watch yeah. a movie and like. Wow, I really don't like transitions. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yep. I really don't <laughs> like those transitions. This was a little weak. Yep. It's like, you know how hard yep. that is to make yeah. those movies? Are you just critiquing right. it like it's nothing? Well, that's why you got to be really creative with it because you're trying, to, you're trying to entertain. You're trying to make it presentable to somebody. You know, it's like a cook. Yeah. You want to make it look beautiful, look right, mm -hmm. taste great. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have to kind of, although you have your own like agendas and desires for for your own thoughts, you do have to communicate something universal that everybody can True. take a piece out of. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even in, even in areas you don't understand, like character development a, yeah. and building different characters. Like there's some people that you might, your brain might not understand how that person mm -hmm. thinks. You need somebody yeah. else to come in to build that character for you. That's right. Mm. So think of villains, heroes, what makes them tick. Like you're building out these characters, man. Yeah. Like some of these characters have, Full yeah. stories, like people wrote stories about them just to develop that character that they'll never use in the film. Right. And the actor goes and reads this dude's whole story, where it came from, who his yeah. parents are, where, where everything. He reads this dude's novel. That's to really you got to draw from character. that. Yeah, and becomes that character. Then he applies that to the, to the script that he's reading mm -hmm. in front of the camera. That's how it Yeah, is. it was hard. That's why I, I couldn't be casted to be the Joker. <laughs> Yo. Um, yeah. this time around, no. um, I kind of, yo, know, I is that a segue it. or no? That's <laughs> not like that was a That's segue. Nice. Uh, is that you a know? segue? A I think we might as well go with the flow. All right, let's just yeah. go with the flow, man. Let's 